Here we go with another opportunity to stump Scott with our weather whiz kids talking about rain over the ocean. That's right. You know, it, it's. I've gotten so many great questions. I've been to many schools mm -hmm. over the year. We'll go all the way to the end of the year, one per week. And I, I keep getting all these different questions. Have you been stumped yet? Oh, all the time. I'm really? constantly stumped. Constantly I'm, stumped. I think the other <laughs> okay, kids in the go. class help me out and give me the right answer. <laughs> no, well, actually, I'll tell you, some of the kids have been real, real sharp. Excellent weather uh, science being taught in the school system here in the Valley, and it's great news. So here's our Weather Whiz kid tonight asking this interesting question. Hello, my name is Bess. I go to Hellwood Elementary. Um, my question is, does it rain much on the ocean? Excellent question. We actually saw that question last night. We weren't supposed to, but tonight we're going to get to answer that. So, does it rain much on the ocean? So, well, let's just take a look at what's going on. Now, there's not a lot of people living out on the ocean unless you're on a ship kind of cruising on through. And so, it's almost like if a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it, does it make a sound? Is it actually happening out there? Well, it certainly is. And one way we can look at that is just, again, tropical development. We get those hurricanes coming across the ocean, and you get all kinds of rain coming out of that. Well, the weather patterns are, are happening all across the entire world and in the northern hemisphere everything's coming in from west to east and you'll see it right in here I'll step out of the way as you look at the western US here and these this is the low pressure system everywhere you see green those are jet stream winds where the air is favoring lift and rain and it's happening not only over us but it's also happening out over the ocean as well here's a big trough of low pressure coming in over the next couple of days and this one's dumping a lot of rain just north of Hawaii and that system will track on in and so there's plenty of moisture Roland and I was just discussing with the be more rain over the ocean and you have a constant source of moisture which is key so for instance you wouldn't get as much rain in Kansas and Nebraska because it's so landlocked there's no storms nearby but ocean but storms need moisture and that moisture source is basically the ocean where that water evaporates those clouds form that moisture comes in that's why we have more rain along the coast here in Seattle in Portland and as it comes inland the air rides up the mountains it, it cools and condenses and makes rain then it comes down the Cascades into the valley the Yakima Valley dries right on out because sinking air dries out. And it rises again in the central mountains of Idaho. Leftover moisture gives more precipitation, but everything sinks into the Treasure Valley from almost every direction, so we tend to dry on out. So because of that, we would have more rain likely over the ocean. So Roland, there you have it. Good question. Great yes, question indeed, it rains tonight. over the ocean. Fantastic. All right, Scott, thanks yeah. very much.